Hi, uh, I'm back to do a review today. It's been quite a long time since my last review, so I'm back on the case. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Pampero Anniversario Rum. Now this rum is uh, from Venezuela. Um, you are looking at a blend of rums between four and six years. And um, the Pampero Rum Distillery was founded back in 1938 by a Alejandro Hernandez and uh, he was the son of a simple fisherman. So very humble beginnings on this rum. Um, very respected rum within Venezuela and Latin America actually. And um, the name Pampero, if you translate it, literally means of the Pampas, so of the grasslands. Um, if you look at the logo uh, um, on the bottle, which I'll show you later, um, it actually shows a gaucho on horseback. So, of the pampas, a cowboy. So, that's their logo. Um, Pampero is accredited for setting rum standards within Venezuela. For, so, um, like I said, it's a very respected rum, and it's a forerunner, really, you know, to set rum, to actually be accredited to set rum standards. You can't beat that. Um, it is a Venezuelan rum, but contrary to, to belief, people think it's uh, still run by Venezuelans. Well, it's not actually. It's, been, it's uh, owned um, by a massive multinational company called Diageo, and they, they're a massive liquor holding company, and they distribute rums all over the world. And uh, they do brands like Myers Rum, Bundaberg, um, Captain Morgan's, even Guinness and Smirnoff Vodka. So, you know, it's no, under, it's no longer under control of the Venezuelan uh, company, um, which is quite a surprise, really, for the heritage of this rum. You thought they might have kept it, you know, under Venezuelan control, but obviously not. Money speaks, as they say. Um, it's won loads of awards over the years. It's won uh, gold awards, double gold awards. It's won uh, the best rum in the San Francisco Spirits Competition. So, really good for a bread rum, this one. Really good. Uh, I'm going to take off the... Oh, before I do, I'll just show you this. This one here, it's in a little leather pouch. And it's... The, the reason they put it in this leather pouch, and it's called the Anniversario Rum, this one was made to commemorate the 25 years of Pampero. So that's the 25 years anniversary rum. So we take it out of the pouch. I'm in for a little surprise because that's how nice the rum is because I'm almost drunk it. So for the purposes of this review, we're going to just imagine that this bowl is full up, all right? And uh, it will be before long because I'll have to buy another one. But as I said, nice little stumpy bowl. I'm going to show you the, the logo here. And I'm not sure if you can see it up close, but it's of a gaucho on horseback. Well, so that's the logo. Um, I'm going to pour a little glass and we'll see what it smells and tastes like. That is getting low. Anyway, as you can see, looking at this rum, first of all, initial looks, you'd have a look. Lovely dark to amber colour really nice. So I'm going to take a little bit of a smell. Do you know what? It's, uh, considering it's only a four to six year old rum, it's a very smooth rum. It smells very much, lovely caramel. It's definitely got a caramel flavour to it. Caramel, spice, but when I say spiced, it's not like a heavily spiced rum. It's sort of mild, very lightly spiced. Um, not over the top really. I quite like that. Very easy drinking. I'm going to have a little drink now to let you know. Oh yeah. Like I said, caramelly, butterscotchy flavour. Very, very light. Spicing. I can get a little hint of vanilla in there. Not, not overpowering, not a heavily vanilla drum, but just a little on the back end I can get a little taste. Um, there's definitely a little bit of wood to it, not over the top, not heavily woody rum, just a nice little touch of wood. Um, a little bit of 
I seem weird to say, but a little bit of smoke, sort of a smokiness to the rum. It's, it's a really nice rum, I really do like it. Um, I would say for anybody starting off with sipping rums, it's a nice mid-ranged priced rum, which I'll go into the price in a minute, but it's a mid-ranged priced rum, so it's um, a nice one to start off on. Um, saying that, it's one that is no matter what stage of collection you're in with your rums, um, certainly one to have. It's a very easy drink and you keep going back to it, definitely. Um, price wise, like I said, uh, I bought this one a month or two ago. I um, I looked around online to just to get an up to date price for you guys. And you can pick up a bottle of this online at this moment for around about £31 to £32. Pounds, which is a really good price for this one. I mean, you wouldn't be disappointed with it at all. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd feel 100% confident to say that. So, cheers. And I'll be doing a, r a rum review very soon. Cheers.